wrap his tan up, destroy people character, home marriages. And the Lord just put them on our family for the church. Amen. Life of God the men that God added to the church said to be saved. Amen. Amen. It's time for us to meet by finances, jobs, and everything. Amen. He attacked him. Amen. And Spence is trying to keep us from coming together unity. Because if there's no unity, there's no power. Amen. Tonight, this week, we're going to come into power and unity and to balance this thing out. Amen. Because God ready to move and only body who can move is Him. Amen. You know, I've been praying like I've been up like this two or three times in one night. Amen. I'm all praying. And the Lord just told me we got to fight. It's the only way you can fight. Instead of fight each other, we're going to fight this thing in the, in the spirit. It's time, lead this time for us to knock our blow on the enemy so he will let go of the him. He can't stop it, but he can show him. Amen. The progress that she was doing, you know, he's hindering us. Amen. But I believe God tonight through these three days of prayer. Sincere prayer. Amen. Get down on me. Let us cry out in unity. That God will move in the behalf of most people saying a lot of things. Let's call me. Call, I'll talk to the young lady. Marriage and girls are still sticking with men and they abusive. You know, it's so much children are getting killed. And all the way this day and day, we got the most moaning women got the labor for the altar. Amen. And tonight, we're going to go before the Lord, amen. Let's hear you get that down just a little bit. You get it time, baby. Amen. I want y'all, y'all got your knowledge to go to second one. This is the scripture we're going to stand on tonight. Amen. And the topic, it is God. We're going to release it to God. Everything we're going through tonight, we're going to release it to God. The hallelujah. Because I need some things to do for me. Amen. I need some finances. Amen. I need God to move in the behalf of the church. Amen. And praise God. And the heart of God's people. A heart of the video. They they don't like some people seem like they lost the love of God. Amen. Amen. Everything getting in our way except God. Amen. So tonight. This is my title. It's God. We're going to release this thing to God. And hallelujah. I want you to look at verse 15 down to 18. This is what we're going to be fighting. Amen. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles, the second chapter. Second 20 chapter and the 15 and the 16 to 18 verse. Second Chronicles, 20 chapter. Start at verse 15 through 18. This is what we're going to. And I'm going to point out what I want you to get. Second Chronicles 20 chapter, verse 15 down to 18. Listen to me, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem, and you, O King Jehoshaphat. I put my name there, say it. He explains, the Lord says, don't be afraid. Don't be paralyzed by this mighty army. For this battle is not yours. So the battle is not who? Yours. It's Amen. not my battle. Amen. It's not my battle. My God, thank you. Come on. But God's. Tomorrow, go down and attack them. You so we're going to attack the enemy. Amen. We're going to be attacking them tonight. Amen. Come on. You will find them coming up the slopes of Ziz at the end of the valley that opens into the wilderness of Jeruel. But you will not need to fight. Take your places, stand quietly, and see the incredible rescue operations God will perform for you. Amen. He said, you should need not to what? Fight. We ain't going to fight this thing in the natural. We find it in what? The spirit. The spirit. Amen. In hallelujah. And all the way we're going to win this battle in the spirit. Hallelujah. I see. 
and we got to set. Me set, we got to be steadfast, unmovable, set. I mean, grounded and set in what you're hollering out to God for. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and stand.